Hello everyone, we will continue the topic about on HANA and currently we are covering the various features or core concepts of SAP HANA and as a part of that we firstly finished in-memory computing then we cover OLAP and OLTP integration we covered row and column storage then we covered data compression and now into this video we will go into table partitioning we will cover another core concept that is table partitioning firstly we will understand the meaning of table partitioning then we will go into detail yes how SAP HANA is yes, provide us table partitioning. Now, what is table partitioning? Word itself is saying table partitioning. It means we will do the partition of the table data. We will divide the table data or we will split the table data. So, table partitioning is a data organization scheme in which table data is divided across multiple storage object and each and every storage object is called as data partition. So what is table partitioning? In table partitioning, we divide the table data across multiple storage object and those storage object are called as data partition. Suppose if I will go for simple example, suppose a table has 1 lakh records. So and suppose we are going for 10 partition and we assigned 10,000 records to each and every partition. It means those 10 partition are called as now data partition and each and every data partition has how many record 10,000. So in case of table partitioning, we divide the table data across multiple storage object and that is called as data partition because they hold the data. Now, we will come on to SAP HANA. In SAP HANA, what is table partitioning? In terms of SAP HANA, we divide or we can say we split column storage table into sub table or we can say partition. We already covered, yes, what is row storage and what is column storage. So, table partitioning is applicable to column storage table where SAP HANA divide that those tables into sub table or we can say partition. Now, whenever the whenever SAP HANA go for table partitioning, in that case, what will happen? What is the benefit? Large tables can be broken into smaller and more manageable part. Yes, just now we took the example. Suppose a table has 1 lakh record and we are signing 10,000 records to each and every partition. It means we have smaller and more manageable parts. Yes, so whenever we are going for table partitioning, large tables can be broken into smaller and more manageable part. And the next point is important. And so many people has this in mind. Whenever a table is partitioned, it means whenever we will split the table data, whenever we divide the table data, in that case, the split or division, it is done in such a way that each partition contains a different set of records of that table. It should not be the case that 10,000 records are assigned to one partition 
same 10,000 records are assigned to second partition. It is never, never possible. Whenever a table is partitioned, whenever a table is split, yes, the partition is done in such a way that each and every partition contains a different set of records of that table. Now, we will move further. Now, table partitioning plays a vital role or we can say it is very successful whenever we have multiple host system. Firstly, we will understand what is multiple host system. Anyways, there is no need to go into detail because this is all about system administration. But whatever is required, we will understand from table partitioning perspective. What is multiple host system? It means multiple host means what? We have more than one host. It means SAP HANA is now at multiple host. Now, what is the benefit of multiple host? Suppose if I will go for simple example. Suppose I am the single host. Suppose who, it, who is delivering some speech. If I am the single host, it means I have I am taking all the pressure. All load is on me. Suppose rather than single host, if multiple hosts are there, it means I can do some part. Others can also do some part. In that case, what will happen? The load will be distributed across multiple hosts. Suppose if I will go for simple example another. Suppose I am the single host. And suppose I am not feeling well today. So in that case, what will happen? Others have to survive at that point of time because I am the single host and I am not available at that point of time. But if we have the multiple host and if I am not available, others can take my responsibility. Same thing is applicable here. If your SAP HANA is across multiple host, first most important thing, your load will be distributed across multiple hosts. And suppose if one host is failed, at least you have the backup of another host. So yes, in real products, many times clients go for multiple host system because in that case, load will be distributed. If some host is failed, at least you have the backup of other host. And now this table partitioning plays a vital role whenever we have multiple host system. Now just see, in multiple host, what will happen? We will assign, well, we will go for one host, second host, third host. So just see the example. Suppose a table has three month data, Jan month data, Feb month data, March month data. We assign the Jan month data to host one. We assign the Feb month data to second host. We assign the March month data to third host. So you can see multiple host system and a table data is partitioned across multiple host. So you can see the, how the load is distributed. If I will read the theory, partition, the partitioning is very important or typically used in multiple host system. Now you can see, this is the figure in which table data is distributed across three hosts. We distributed across three hosts with a dedicated partition. Yes, we have dedicated partition for individual month. So in multiple host system, table partitioning is very important. It does not mean that, yes, it is not successful in single host, but yes, Whenever we have multiple host system, it provides the more benefit, yes, and it is more, more useful technique at that point of time. Now, we come on to next part. Yes, now we are saying we will go for table partitioning, table partitioning. It means there must be some strategies, there must be some algorithm, there must be some techniques which do the table partitioning. Suppose just now we took the example, a table has 1 lakh record, 10, 10,000 are going to the partition. It, must, it means there must be some strategy, there must be some technique, there must be some alternative. 
who is dividing the records to the various partition. So what are those strategies or what are those techniques? So what those techniques are, the first one is hash partitioning, second one is round robin partitioning, and the third one is range partitioning. So total we have three, so I can say three partitioning table, partitioning alternative strategies, techniques. One is hash partitioning, round robin partitioning, and range partitioning. So now we will firstly summarize this. And in the next video, we will go for these partitioning strategies. So into this particular video, we started with another core concept or feature that is table partitioning. Firstly, term itself is saying you are doing a partition of table data. You are doing a split of table data. You are dividing the table data. So in table partitioning, we divide the table data and each and every, each and whatever the storage objects we are dividing, they are called as data partition. Now in SAP HANA, we divide the column storage tables into multiple sub table or partition. Yes, it is very, very benefit, very, very beneficial because it is very easy to manage the small, small parts. Now, whenever we go for table partitioning, each and every partition has a different sets of the rows of the table. Now, table partitioning is very, very useful or I can say it's typically used in multiple host system. Yes, I took the example multiple host means more than one host in which your SAP HANA is across multiple hosts that is called as multiple host system. And it's very, very useful because your load will be distributed across multiple hosts. If one of the hosts failed, at least there's nothing for us to worry. We have other hosts also. And I just compare it to real-time example. Suppose if you are the single person who is doing everything, if you are not feeling well, then everything got hampered at that point of time. If you have the backup, at least others can take that particular responsibility. And if you have multiple persons, the load will also be distributed. So I took the example and this picture is very much clear. Suppose a table has three months data. So Jan month data is assigned to first host, Feb month data to second host, third month data to third host. Yes, so we have table partition across multiple hosts. Now, after that, we covered, yes, if we are talking about table partitioning, it must means there must be some techniques, there must be some strategies which are doing the table partitioning. So what are those strategies? The first one is hash partitioning, round robin partitioning and range partitioning. In the next video, we will understand what these three types of partitioning and then we will simply cover the advantages of the partitioning in terms of SAP. So that's it in this video. Thank you.